Peyton, especially that second half, you know, obviously had some some pick and pop opportunities. Was that something you guys felt over the course of the game? Uh, was something you guys could take advantage of? Yeah, just the way they played ball screens. Uh, usually the five man played a drop coverage uh, and uh, coach saw an opportunity where uh, I could pick and pop and he started telling me to pop more and so roll. So we just saw some opportunities there and uh, just thankfully my shot was going down today. Aiden, it looked like that was a, a Wichita team. You could see they they were looking for their first conference win on their home floor, playing pretty desperate, it looked like. How were you guys able to kind of withstand the energy they played with and keep fighting back? Yeah, just going into any road game, like it's going to be difficult. Just home crowd behind them. They have energy. You know, they haven't gotten a win in conference yet. So we knew we had to come in, match their energy, and exceed it. And like during the second half, they went on a couple of runs and we just kept we, in the huddles. We just said, hey, let's keep going, keep bringing the energy. And uh, eventually we broke through at the end and got some big stops and came out with the win. Jeremiah had a tough day. How big was it for him to hit that the one shot he hit to put you guys in the lead for the first time since since early? Did that give you a little shot of energy to see him keep fighting? Yeah, J JD is a great player, and when he struggled a little bit tonight, but he brings a bunch of energy with his leadership and on the def defensive side. And just seeing that uh, shot go in, uh, it just kind of boosted our energy a little bit and uh, helped us on the de defensive side, just getting another stop. Hayden, coach said after the ECU game, he thought he should have played you a little bit more. Did you expect to be, especially with Vic out, did you expect to be a little bit bigger factor tonight or today? Um, I, I mean, I come into each game just like wherever I can help the team, like whether that's like with my voice or uh, just the minutes I get on the court, uh, it's, I'm happy with it. And the coach makes the decisions to put us in a chance to win um, and just happened to be like got a little more minutes tonight and uh, just took advantage of the opportunity. Did he say anything over the past couple of days like, hey, you know, I should think you'll get more minutes against Wichita or was there anything like that? Uh, no, sir, that, there wasn't anything like that. It was just kind of um, just brought it in practice every day and uh, you just kind of earn your minutes and just tonight it just happened to be uh, got a few more minutes today. Hayden, since um, since the Memphis game a week ago, you guys have been just lights out defensively uh, over the last two games. Is that something that um, Wes wanted to work on specifically following the Memphis game and uh, just I mean how much pride do you guys take in that I think defensively we just that's where we uh, that's like our cornerstone that's where we uh, set ourselves and where we focus on uh, we work on that in practice each and every day for at least like hour hour and a half of practice and that's where we pride ourselves on because sometimes the uh, we won't shoot it that well, and we just have to get a def defensive stop to win the game. And I think just going into those games, uh, especially after the Memphis game, there was a, another like sense of urgency, like, all right, we need to focus more on the de defensive end. And we did that in practice and feel like if we keep going, we'll get results like the last two games. Was today one of those days where the ball just felt good coming out of your hands? Is that something you can tell right away when you get that first shot off? Yeah, I mean, just all glory to God, but uh, just like keep working on my shot and um, and uh, keep getting in the gym. And it felt good in warm ups and knew if the ball got my way, uh, I just let it fly. And um, the coaches and the grad assistants are really good, just like, hey, be confident in your shot. So, uh, and the point guards were be able to get off the screens and were able to find me. So credit to them too. Is it more rewarding at all to, you know, go on the road and win a game like this where you guys probably didn't play your best and didn't have everything working? Yeah, I, I think it shows just how good our team can be because we didn't have our best offensive night and defensively we struggled at times, but when it came down to it, we really uh, just dug in and, uh, got the win on the road and any road game you can win in conference. That's a big one. 
Hayden, can you start to feel that gravity come your way a little bit more when that second three ball goes down, a big guy out there on the perimeter, it kind of just warps the entire shape of the floor on that end? Yeah, I mean, just could – could you ask that question again? Like, do you start to feel the defense gravitate your way a little bit, especially in that second half once that's, that, that second three went down and you're starting, you're starting to get, you get yourself feeling hot a little bit? Yeah, I, I can feel it a little bit. And there was a, there was a possession near the end. Uh, I felt the guy on the backside uh, help, and that's when John made the cut. And I could, I could feel that they were helping a little bit more on the offside, on the help side to close off that three. And that's just going to open up other guys. Hey, needless to say, uh, that was fun. I'm really proud of our guys. Uh, you know, I told them at halftime, these are my favorite types of games because it's not going to be easy tonight. Like it's not going to be a rhythm game. You're, you know, nobody's going to have great numbers tonight. You know, uh, we're not going to get clean defensive rebounds and get easy shots in transition. We're going to have to grind it out. Uh, we're going to have to stick together. Uh, we're going to have to kind of withstand runs and uh, withstand a hostile environment. And when you, when you figure out how to do that as a group, you can really take a step. And it's the best feeling I think you can have as a coach when you do that. And, you, you know, it just wasn't easy. It wasn't simple. But you just find a way together on the road. And uh, so I'm really proud of our team. I, I think we took a step tonight in, in terms of just sticking together when it gets difficult. Um, a couple couple guys, you know, uh, first off, Dave DeJulius and the job he did on uh, at the end. And I hope I'm saying that correct because he's a terrific player. Uh, he, he, he took that responsibility. If David was in the game for 32 minutes, he guarded him for 32 minutes. And, boy, I thought he just did a terrific job. And for David, who we're putting in so much of our action and we're asking so much of offensively to, to guard their best player, who they put in so much action, uh, who's terrific, I, I, I was super proud of that. Like that was – if there's anything that steps out to me first, I mean, I was just super proud of his defensive effort. You know, you, you guys just talked to Hayden. Um, you know, I've, I've said this about Hayden for a year and a half now. You know, he's probably 135 pounds soaking wet, right? I mean, I probably weigh twice as much as he does. And people sometimes think that means he's not tough because he can get banged around a little bit, but he's the toughest, toughest dude I've coached in a lot of ways. I mean, he, he may not be able to push people around with physicality, but he doesn't lack toughness. He's got toughness in terms of his belief in himself. And you saw that making some big shots and then he's got toughness to fight for the ball and be in the right spot. And then you combine that with intelligence. And I thought, yeah, sure. Certainly the shots he hit were game changing and trying to, pull UDZ out on the floor to create space for our team. And then if, the, you know, if they make a mistake uh, for him to be able to shoot the ball, I thought that was a big deal down the stretch for us. Uh, but I thought him defensively, we talked at times down the stretch about um, maybe doing some offensive and defensive substitutions. And I turned around to our staff and I said, I think Hayden's given us the best chance guarding in the ball screen because they were going to the high ball over and over uh, with Etienne. So I thought it was kind of both ends, and I'm just as proud of what he was able to give us defensively. You know, finally, we got stops to win a game, and that's kind of what I've, what I've always wanted to be about and always wanted teams I coach to be about. And so we got stops to win a game on the road. So that's, that's a good feeling too. So, yeah, happy with this. We've got a long way to go. We didn't cross any finish line, uh, but it's a big step to win a, a game on the road against a really good team. But you had to anticipate – them looking for their first win in the conference, a team that this is a group of guys that has won a lot of games that they were going to play desperate. How proud are you of your guys that they were able to kind of withstand that and fight through that and then come out on the other side? Yeah. I mean, I think you said it, you know, this is a team that won the regular season championship and picked Tom league a year ago with the majority of their team back. So, the, and they're going to win a lot of games in our league. They're a really good basketball team. So you, you knew they played with some spirit. Um, and again, I, I'll say it again. I said it at halftime. I said it after the game. As a coach, these are your favorite wins because it's just not going to be easy and you have to come together and you have to just find a way. And our, and our kids did that tonight and they did it with getting stops down the stretch, which, you know, I, people don't always love that. Everybody wants to see dunks and threes and 100 point games. But man, there's nothing that makes me happier than getting stops to win a game. 
I know you're always harping on on defense and you just mentioned it getting those stops does that make it a little bit easier to remind the team like we just gave up 57 points you know on the road in a tough game and, and that's how that's how you have to win sometimes no question we talked about it after the game I told him that was one of the things I was the most proud of and something that we can build on again I you know don't get me wrong hey, guys it's college basketball can be so much fun and the highs can be high and that's pretty fun jumping around the locker room with our guys after that one uh but it's not like we've arrived or crossed some finish line we haven't I mean it's it's we can learn from this and we can grow with this because if this team will keep embracing this mentality and growing then I think we can become better and better With Hayden specifically, you know, you talked after that ECU game, you kind of wish you would have played him a little bit more. Obviously, Vic being out maybe switched the rotation, but did you feel like he could be a bigger factor tonight heading into the game? Well, you know, we, you guys have known this all year covering us, trying to figure out game to game how to utilize those four true big guys has been a strength uh, and, and also a challenge sometimes as coaches, and we haven't always gotten it right. Um, you know, we knew he'd have to play some minutes at the four with Vic out. And so we knew he'd get some extra minutes there. But where he was really effective tonight was at the five. And so, um, you know, we, he got those minutes at the five, which didn't have a lot to do with Vic being out. It took a little bit away from Odie and a little bit away from Duel. Uh, but those are two of the highest character team first guys, you know, that you can have. And they're just as excited that we won as anybody, even though their role wasn't as big tonight. And um, that that's what our front court has to be about this year, like like different guys stepping up on different nights. And sometimes it's not an indictment on the guy that's not playing. It's just somebody else is a better matchup or having or proposing some more problems for the other team. And tonight it was Hayden. Coach, you guys outscored them uh, 30 to nine on the three point shot. You do get outscored on the uh, on points in the paint, 32 to 12. But it does seem like throughout this season, especially at the beginning of conference play here, you're showing kind of a chameleon persona as a team of the ability to win in a bunch of different ways. And what was, what was working so well with that three point shot? I know we would, we've been highlighting the fact that Hayden was creating a lot of space out there on those pick and pops and being able to pull out. Oh, you Desi. Yeah. Well, I was proud of the way we guarded, you know, the three point line for them. I looked down and they're three for 10 and we've had, mm -hmm. some, we've given up a couple nights here recently. The guy's really shooting it well. And sometimes that's the other guy making some plays and sometimes it's our defense, but you got to defend the three-point line if you want to win consistently in college basketball. So I'm glad we did that tonight. Um, you know, it was – I thought they guarded Jeremiah Davenport extremely well and made it tough for him to get clean looks. I mean, he got some clips off, but they weren't clean. You know, I think he only had one really, really good look from three tonight. Um, so they did a good job of guarding us. You know, I, I do think, you know, the way that they were playing their ball screen to coverage, putting Hayden against Udesi and then letting Hayden pick and pop, and we did that in our flow and we did that with some actions. I think that creates some problems for them. And then all of a sudden, you know, he makes four. And so I think a little bit of it comes from that. You know, there was a shot against us. They went zone. Uh, we got a wide open shot against the zone the first time, missed it. I think Shuey missed one in the left corner. And the second time we tried to run a little play, they guarded it well. And Shuey caught the ball in the right corner with like one second on the shot clock and threw it up and made it. And guys, that's just coaching. I mean, that's, that's just great design by the coach to, you know, like get it. <laughs> so that, yeah, I guess my, what I'm asking, what I'm telling you guys is some of it I thought was, was Hayden, you know, stretching it out a little bit. And some of it guys just made some plays when the chips were down and like that shot by, by shoot was big. I mean, G, uh, John Newman made one in front of our bench. They were playing him as a driver at the end of the shot clock to start the second half. And he kind of looks the guys down and shoots it. So that's no great design. Just guys stepping up and making big time plays. I was joking, by the way, about the coaching part of that. Jeremiah had a rough day from the floor, as you mentioned, but he still was able to stick one of the bigger shots of the game that, that put you guys in the lead. Uh, how much does the team feed off, you know, him being able to fight through not having a good day and, and still be able to hit a shot like that? Yeah, how how great is, is he as a competitor? You know, I mean, it's like the second time this year that it's been really hard to free him up. And I keep saying, and we've done some different things and we have some different actions now and they did a nice job of defending him. Um, but it's the second time this year, he kind of been in a big time game on the road or neutral site. And it's been hard for him to come by a clean look. And most guys that scored at the rate that he does get frustrated when they can't score or they're not scoring. And he just keeps competing and he wanted to win as much as anybody tonight. So 
you know, I, I do think his shot was a huge lift. I think it put us up, if I remember right, Chad. I think that put us up two. Is, is that right? Um, yep. I think that's a that's a huge lift. But I think more of the lift is the fact that he's not scoring and he's still just as into the game and trying to win the possession just as hard. So I, I was just as proud of that as anything. Their scouting report defense looked really, really on point. Um, how proud of you were your guys to be able to fight through that? Because a lot of times it kind of it looked like they were they were anticipating or ready for what you were going to do. And as the game went on, you found a way to, to get some shots. Yeah, I mean, you, you said it. And I said it to the guys at halftime. This isn't going to be an easy game. And it, it's not going to be one of those games where it just kind of goes your way and you're in some rhythm. And proud that those are my favorite games as a coach, when you find ways to win on those nights and specifically on the road. So yeah, I was, I was pleased with that. And they and give give those guys credit. Um, they they had a nice game plan defensively. They were not just alert to the actions we were running, but they were alert to our guys' tendencies pretty well. And so that made it made it difficult early. And but I thought as the game went on, you know, I thought we we got some more opportunity. And I thought we got some opportunity, Chad, in the open floor. We just didn't necessarily convert. A lot of shots blocked around the rim. We missed a layup or two. Um, so it just wasn't one of those nights where everything was going to go your way. Uh, but that said, that's that's why I feel pretty good right now that we won. Got time for one more question. How were you feeling at halftime? Because I think you guys were down three, but shooting like 31%, you're getting out rebounded. Are you feeling like fortunate in that that moment? Like you feel like you're in a better position to win or are you really frustrated or what was it? Yeah, we, you know, we lost, we, you know, we chart every four minutes, like little games and we lost the first four of the game. And we just kept, we kept telling them, Hey guys, we're going to, we kept talking about rebounding in the first half and timeouts. I'm sure you guys are shocked to hear that covering the game. Uh, and we kept talking about not being able to string stops together. Like we had no, no segments. We had three stops in a row. So we kept saying, we got to win a four minute game and we got to, we got to rebound and we got to try to st string some stops together. And if we do that, I think we're going to be okay. And we did that in the last four minutes of the half. We finally got our first three stops in a row for the game. We finally won our first four-minute game. And you felt kind of good that, you know, maybe wasn't the greatest first half, but you you, can't, you came in that that last four minutes, you came into the half playing well, you know, and you look up and you're in a one-possession game. So, yeah, I think I, I felt good that the way the game had gone in the first half to be where we were going into the second half for sure.